Welcome back to our channel. Ever wondered how fast your muscles can grow naturally? Today, we're diving deep into the science and facts behind muscle growth. So, whether you're new to the gym or looking to maximize your gains, this video is for you. Stick around to the end to get a comprehensive understanding and actionable tips. 1. The Basics of Muscle Growth First, let's understand the basics. Muscle growth, also known as hypertrophy, occurs when the fibers in your muscles sustain damage or injury from exercise. Your body repairs these fibers by fusing them, which increases the mass and size of the muscles. This process is influenced by a variety of factors, which we'll explore in depth. When you lift weights or perform resistance exercises, you create microscopic tears in your muscle fibers. This might sound detrimental, but it's actually beneficial. Your body responds to this by repairing the muscle fibers, and it's during this repair process that the muscles grow bigger and stronger. The primary driver of muscle hypertrophy is progressive overload, which involves gradually increasing the amount of stress placed on the muscles over time. Before we continue, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. 2. Factors Affecting Muscle Growth Several factors influence how fast your muscles can grow. Let's break them down. Genetics Your genetic makeup plays a significant role. Some people are naturally predisposed to build muscle faster. This is largely due to variations in muscle fiber types, hormone levels, and individual recovery rates. Age Younger individuals tend to gain muscle more quickly than older adults. As we age, our bodies produce fewer anabolic hormones like testosterone and growth hormone, which are crucial for muscle growth. Gender. Testosterone levels make it generally easier for men to build muscle compared to women. However, women can still achieve significant muscle growth with proper training and nutrition. Training intensity and volume. The intensity and volume of your workouts are crucial. More challenging and higher volume workouts stimulate more muscle growth. It's important to progressively increase the weight or resistance to continue making gains. Nutrition. Proper nutrition, especially protein intake, is essential for muscle repair and growth. Proteins provide the building blocks, amino acids, that muscles need to repair and grow. Carbohydrates and fats also play supportive roles by providing energy and aiding in recovery. Rest and recovery. Muscles grow during rest, not while you're working out. Ensuring adequate sleep and rest days is critical. Overtraining can lead to injury and hinder progress. 3. Realistic muscle growth rates. So, how fast can you expect to grow muscle naturally? Here are some general guidelines. Beginners. In the first year of proper training and nutrition, beginners can expect to gain around 1 1.5% of their body weight in muscle per month. That translates to about 20-25 pounds of muscle in a year. This rapid growth is due to the body's initial adaptation to the new stimulus of resistance training. Intermediates. After the first year, the rate slows down. Intermediates might gain around 10-12 pounds of muscle in a year. At this stage, the body has already adapted to the training stimulus, making further gains more challenging. Advanced lifters. For those with several years of consistent training, the rate of muscle gain is much slower, approximately 2-5 pounds per year. Advanced lifters need to employ advanced techniques and pay more attention to details in their training and nutrition to continue making progress. It's important to note that these figures are estimates and can vary based on individual differences. Factors like genetics, diet, training program, and consistency play significant roles in the actual rate of muscle growth. 4. Tips for maximizing muscle growth. To maximize your muscle growth naturally, consider these tips. Progressive overload. Gradually increase the weight, frequency, or number of repetitions in your strength training routine. This principle is key to continuous muscle growth. For example, if you're able to lift a certain weight for 10 reps, aim to increase it to 12 reps before adding more weight. Balanced diet. Ensure a diet rich in protein, healthy fats, and carbohydrates. Aim for about 1.62.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Protein is essential for muscle repair and growth while carbohydrates provide the energy needed for intense workouts, and fats support overall health. Consistency. Stay consistent with your workouts and nutrition plan. Muscle growth takes time and dedication. Skipping workouts or not sticking to your nutrition plan can hinder your progress. Rest. Incorporate rest days into your routine and ensure you're getting 7-9 hours of sleep per night. 
Sleep is crucial for recovery and growth, as this is when the body repairs itself. Proper form. Focus on maintaining proper form to prevent injuries and ensure you're effectively targeting the muscles you intend to grow. Using proper form also maximizes the efficiency of your workouts, leading to better results. Variety in training. Incorporate different exercises and training modalities to keep your muscles challenged and prevent plateaus. This can include varying representative ranges, exercise selection, and training techniques like supersets and drop sets. Hydration. Staying hydrated is vital for overall health and optimal performance. Dehydration can negatively affect your strength and endurance, which in turn impacts your ability to train effectively. 5. Myths about muscle growth. Let's bust some common myths about muscle growth. You need to train every day. Overtraining can actually hinder muscle growth. Rest is when growth happens. Your muscles need time to recover and grow, so it's important to have rest days in your routine. Supplements are necessary. While supplements can help, they are not essential. A balanced diet is the key. Supplements like protein powders and creatine can be convenient, but they should complement a well-rounded diet, not replace it. You can target fat loss in specific areas. Spot reduction is a myth. You can't control where your body loses fat, but you can build muscle in specific areas. Fat loss occurs throughout the entire body and is largely influenced by genetics and overall body composition. Heavy weights are the only way to build muscle. While lifting heavy is effective, incorporating a variety of weights and representative ranges can also stimulate muscle growth. Mixing up your training can prevent plateaus and keep your workouts interesting. Cardio kills gains. Moderate cardio can actually support muscle growth by improving cardiovascular health and aiding in recovery. Excessive cardio can interfere with muscle growth, but balanced cardio is beneficial. 6. The importance of tracking progress. Tracking your progress is crucial for continuous improvement. Here's how to do it effectively. Keep a workout log. Record your exercises, weights, reps, and sets. This helps you track your progress and make necessary adjustments to your routine. Take measurements. Measure your muscle size regularly to see how much you're growing. Use a tape measure to track changes in your arms, chest, legs, and other areas. Take photos. Progress photos can be a great way to visually track changes in your physique. Take photos from different angles and under similar lighting conditions to accurately compare. Monitor your weight. Regularly check your body weight, but remember that muscle growth might not always reflect immediately on the scale due to changes in body composition. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how you feel during and after workouts. Adjust your routine if you're feeling excessively fatigued or experiencing pain. 7. Understanding muscle memory. Muscle memory is a fascinating aspect of muscle growth. If you've taken a break from training, you might find that regaining lost muscle is faster than building new muscle from scratch. This is because your muscle fibers have a memory of their previous size and strength, allowing for quicker adaptation when you resume training. Muscle memory is a result of cellular changes that occur in your muscles during training. Even when you lose muscle mass, the nuclei in your muscle cells remain, allowing for faster rebuilding of muscle when you start training again. 8. Long-term commitment to muscle growth. Building muscle is a long-term commitment. It requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to adapt. Here are some long-term strategies. Set realistic goals. Establish both short-term and long-term goals to keep yourself motivated and focused. Continual learning. Stay informed about the latest research and trends in fitness and nutrition. The more you know, the better you can tailor your approach. Adapt and evolve. Be prepared to change your routine as you progress. What works in the beginning might not be as effective later on, so be flexible and open to new methods. Celebrate milestones. Acknowledge your achievements, no matter how small. Celebrating milestones helps maintain motivation and reinforces positive behavior. Remember, muscle growth is a gradual process that requires patience, consistency, and a holistic approach. Celebrate small victories along the way and stay motivated by tracking your progress. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fitness tips and science-backed advice. Comment below with any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next. Stay strong and see you in the next video.